Good morning everyone and a very warm welcome to all of you Royal Marines, family, sea cadets, the hairy bikers, thank you for coming again, and members from the Royal Artillery who are with the standards here today. All of you are very welcome as we gather again annually to remember HMS Frankton otherwise known and loved as the Cockleshell Heroes. As we just stand for a few moments, I now offer the Royal Marines prayer. Eternal Lord God, who through many generations has united and inspired members of our court, grant your blessing, we beseech you, on Royal Marines serving round the globe. Bestow your crown of righteousness upon all our efforts and endeavours, and may our laurels be those of gallantry honour, loyalty and courage. We ask these things in the name of him whose courage never failed, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From the order of service we now follow the procedure. Great, great shot! It is for me a huge privilege this morning in your name to welcome the Mayor of the Metropolitan Borough of Wirral, Councillor George Davis, with the Mayoress. They're very, very welcome, and each year they give us their time and their expertise and indeed represent the borough in which we now hold our service. And it is to now that I ask the, the Mayor to speak to us and he use, of course, the history of the raid which is printed on your order of service. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's a great honour to be able to uh, participate in this um, Cocktail Heroes um, Remembrance Service. Uh, the annual service for Operation Franklin, Cocktail Heroes, in which a local man, and one we should all remember, Bert Labour, was one of the participants. This will be an act of remembrance and an unregistered event. The memorial was unveiled by Lord Ashdown in 2012 and there has been an annual service there every year to mark the events of the operation and remember those who took part. And that's what we're here for this morning. May I just give some uh, 
which, which was very fascinating to me to read the history behind and if you don't mind I'd like to read it out um, in December 1942 10 Royal Marine canoeists embarked on a mission to attach mines to enemy supply ships in Bordeaux the operation codenamed Frankton was a daring attack on merchant ships moored in the harbour of Bordeaux. This required men to be dropped off by the submarine HMS Tuna at the mouth of the Gerardemli estuary. The men who formed the raiding party would, over a four day period, canoe 60 miles, avoiding the 32 German Navy ships patrolling the Bay of Biscay, Pause of Bordeaux, which was a major destination for goods to support the German war effort. They were then to paddle night after night, laying up under cover on isolated stretches of riverbank during the day, catching the equipment and trying to get some rest whilst remaining alert for German patrols. The men behind the mission acknowledged as one of the most daring raids in World War II became known as the Cockatiella Heroes. Of the original 12 members, 10 men set out on the, on the raid to, to, to damage to one of the canoes and two men had to return with their damaged canoe aboard HMS Tuna. Only two of the 10 survived and the remaining eight Two succumbed to hypothermia after capitalizing and six were executed by the Germans under Hitler's commando order. They succeeded in sinking one ship and severely damaging four others and causing enough damage in the port to greatly disrupt the use of the harbour for months to come. Such was the significance of the raid that Winston Churchill said that it helped to shorten World War II by six months. And I'd just now like to pay homage to all those people um, who, who took part, and in particular, Bert. We will remember them. Thank you. Your Worship, thank you very much indeed for those very kind words spoken today on behalf of the community here in Wirral. As we come now to remember those brave men, those brave Marines, let us now, in our thoughts and our prayers, commend them to God's love and tender mercy. Let us remember those who died for their country in war and in peace. Those whom we knew and those whose memories we treasure. All who lived and died in the service of their country and mankind. Remember, first of all, Major Hasler, Marine Bill Spark, Corporal Albert Frederick Laver from this community. Billy Mills, Samuel Wallace, Robert Ewart, Corporal Sheeda Devon. Marine David Moffat, Lieutenant J.W. McIntosh, Jimmy Conway, Marine Ellen, Marine Eric Fisher, Marine N. Colley. May they now rest in peace. Amen.
Exaltation will now be offered by a member of the Royal Artillery Association. When you go home, Tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Now we come to the laying of the reeds. First of all, can I invite the Mayor of the Metropolitan Borough of Wirral, Councillor George Davis, to lay the first wreath on behalf of the borough. of the Special Boat Service and the SBSA. Thank you. 
meeting from the Royal Marines Reserve Merseyside. Presenting Albert Labour on this community. The Sea Cadet Corps training ship Black Cat. Royal Marines Association. Can I invite others who have brought reeds or tributes to come and lay them now? the final blessing. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Queen and the Commonwealth, peace and concord, and to us and to all his servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Another bird, carry, another. Another bird, turning to the right, carry on. Great, great, all out.